earlier in this section, I told you that in SQL, we have two types of joints, inner joints and outer joints. Now, so far, you have only seen examples of inner joints. And I also told you that this inner keyword is optional. So whenever you type out a join, you're using an inner joint. In this tutorial, we're going to look at outer joints and the problems they solve. So let's start by writing a query that uses an inner joint, and then we'll convert that inner joint to an outer joint. So select everything from the customer's table, join it with the orders table on c.customer ID should be equal to o.customer ID. Pretty basic, right? Now for clarity, let's pick a few columns from these two tables. So from the customer's table, I want to pick customer ID and first name. And from the orders table, I want to pick order ID. Now, finally, let's sort the result so we can clearly see what we get. So order by c.customer ID. Let's execute this query and see what we get. So here's the result. For customer number two called Ines or Ines, whatever, we have two orders, order four and order seven. Similarly, for customer number five, we have two orders and so on. Now, there is something missing in this result. We only see customers who have an order in our system. These are customers 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 10. But if you look at the customers table, you can see that we have other customers like customer number 1, customer number 3, and so on. Now, currently, we don't have any orders for these customers, and that's the reason we don't see them in this result set. But what if you want to see all the customers, whether they have an order or not? That's when we use an outer join. Let me show you how that works. So back to our query. The reason we only saw customers who have an order was because of this join condition. When joining these two tables, we are only returning records that match this condition. So for a given customer, if we do have an order, that record is returned. But as you saw a second ago, some of our customers don't have an order. So for those customers, this condition is not valid. And that is the reason they're not returned in the result set. To solve this problem, we use an outer join. Now in SQL, we have two types of outer joints. We have left joints and right joints. When we use a left join, all the records from the left table, in this case, customers, are returned whether this condition is true or not. So we get all the customers, and if they do have an order, we'll see the order ID as well. Let's execute this query and see what we get. So there you go. Customer number one, doesn't have an order, and that's why we get null in this cell. Customer number two has two orders, four and seven. Customer number three also doesn't have an order, so we have null for order ID. This is the result of a left join. So back to our query, when we use a left join, all the records from the left table are returned whether this condition is true or not. Now, what if we use a right join? In this case, all the records from the orders table are returned, whether this condition is true or not. Let's execute this query and see what we get. So we get the same result as before when we use an inner join, because we're selecting all the records from the right table, which is the orders table. So we don't see all the customers. We see all the orders, right? Now, if you want to use a right join and still see all the customers, you need to swap the order of these tables. So we put the orders table first, that's going to be our left table. And then we put the customers on the right side. So now with this query, we'll return all the records from the right table, which is the customers table. When we execute this, we get all the customers, whether they have an order or not. Beautiful. Now, one last thing before we finish this tutorial. I've seen developers use the outer keyword here. So either right outer join or left outer join. But technically, the outer keyword is optional, just like the inner keyword. So you don't have to type it out. So I'm going to remove this to make my code shorter and easier to understand. So to recap, if you use the join keyword, you're doing an inner join. And if you do a left or right join, you're doing an outer join. Here's your exercise for this tutorial. I want you to write a query that produces this result. So we have three columns here, product ID name, 
and quantity that I picked from the order items table. So here we need to join the products table with order items table. So we can see how many times each product is ordered. However, if we do an inner join, we'll only see the products that have been ordered. But here I'm doing an outer join. So product number seven has never been ordered, but still exists in the result. We see null for the quantity. So go ahead and write an outer join to produce this result. All right, first we select everything from the products table and then do a left join with the order items table. Our join condition is p.productID equals oi.productID. So because we're using a left join, we'll get all the products in the products table, whether this condition is true or not. If they have never been ordered, we we'll still see them in the result. Now, let's pick a few columns for clarity. So p.productID, p.name, and oi.quantity. That's it. Let's execute the query. We get the same result as before. So all the products are here, and product number seven has never been ordered, so we see null for the quantity.